So I am going to do an experiment today to see if I can record some cross-country skiing that I'm going to do with the Strava app on my iPhone and with my GoPro Hero instead of my Garmin Verb and see if I can at least get the speed data from the Strava app and the video data from the Hero combined into one using Verb Edit. So what I did was I went out on the trail, I started my GoPro camera and then as quickly as I could I started my Strava app and then I went skiing. And when I was done, I stopped the Strava app from recording, and I also stopped the GoPro. Then I came home, and here's what I did on my computer. The first thing I did was I imported all my GoPro clips. Then I went to Strava and downloaded my activity as a GPX file to my downloads folder. Then I started up for Edit, and I tried to import the GoPro clips right here. However, Verbedit wouldn't let me import the GoPro clips. They were all grayed out. So I decided to see if I could open the GoPro clips in iMovie. So I created a new movie, and I tried to import the clips. Yeah, for some reason you can't import them from the card directly. So what I had to do is go to the actual files that have been imported from the GoPro. They're in your movie folder. And I just selected one of them and said import. And I selected the whole clip, dragged it down into iMovie's timeline, and chose file share to a file. So here I'm creating a brand new movie from the GoPro movie with no editing done to it. So there's the file on my backup hard drive. I'm going to try to now import that file, which hopefully will work. And the Garmin verb lets me import it. Perfect. So now I'm going to create a video and drag the clip to the timeline. And then I'm going to see if I can add that GPS information I downloaded from Strava from, by using a manual selection, going to my downloads folder, finding that file, should be up at the top, and clicking open. And it successfully imported it. I'm going to click Add GPS. And now I seem to have my video and my GPS track all lined up together. Isn't that awesome? Now I'm going to get rid of some of the default gauges that are on the video by clicking on them and hitting the delete button. I'll keep the track. Now I'm going to add my speed using a large gauge. And I'll add some other gauges. Obviously the ones that record your bike cadence and heart rate and all that stuff won't be available on the iPhone. However, they definitely will be available if you record your video using a Garmin Edge bike computer. So once I have that all done, I'll make the movie. And here's the finished product. Hi, Pat. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Hi, Pat. Hi. Hi. <laughs> this is actually pretty cool because I think my speed is good, my miles that I've gone is good, and my elevation seems to be right on. Doesn't seem to be way off like it sometimes is with the Garmin Verb. So, quite tedious little operation there because you couldn't import the GoPro clips directly, but other than that, I don't see a need for the Garmin Verb anymore. Woohoo!